Hello everyone, on today's episode of Tinkering with Terrius, we're going to be looking at the little solar PCB and we're going to be assembling a solar light from it. So this little solar PCB was one of my very first circuit boards that I've ever designed and had made. On the back side of the circuit board you can see we have a spot for the LED, a capacitor, an inductor, and then the through hole connections for the YX8018 and the through hole connections for the power on the top side of the board all we have is a diode and the silk screening for the battery, solar panel, and YX chip. So I did make a mistake on this circuit board. It's an easy mistake to correct. On this particular chip, this pin here, pin 3, is supposed to be connected to the negative of the solar panel. But I have the negative of the solar panel going in over here and connecting commonly through all of the other points. This was incorrect and in order to bodge this, all we do is leave the leg for pin 3 of the chip a little bit longer and then just directly solder the solar panel's negative lead to the lead of the chip. I did spend a lot of time last night trying to debug the little circuit board. I thought there was something very wrong with it. I couldn't get it to work no matter what I did. It turns out only 28 of the YX8018s that I ordered actually work. So I ordered 100 and only 28 of them work. Aside from that, another issue I've noticed is that the inductor that I chose is a little bit too high of value. So there's not quite enough current to power the LED through all of its different colors. So again, for that, I have another bodge that I'm going to do. Unfortunately, the surface mount capacitors that I ordered are also off by two orders of magnitude. For some reason, I got 100 picofarad when I wanted to get 100 nanofarad. That's not really a problem. I did order some through-hole 100 nanofarad capacitors, so we'll just bodge one of those on to here for now. And then when I have enough stuff to order from DigiKey again, I can order proper inductors and proper capacitors for it. Everything else is fine though. We're going to need a solar panel, some wires for said solar panel, battery connector, the capacitor, the little YX chip, one of the ones I've tested to be working, and we've got the little surface mount diode, surface mount inductor, and the surface mount LED. In addition to that, I'm going to be adding a through hole inductor in parallel with the surface mount inductor just to boost the current through this a little bit so that the LED lights a little bit more reliably and brighter. So all of these components are going to be attached to this little circuit board and that is what we're going to do now. You can see there's it's a very nice little circuit board here. I'm surprised that they managed to get any of the silk screen on because it's kind of obstructed. But they managed to get it on on both sides and all of the traces look really good, so I'm very happy with this PCB from PCBWay. Seems like they were a good choice for these. So one thing I've noticed when assembling the other ones is that it's fairly difficult to put the little LED in once you have the wires and everything connected, so I think I'm going to do the LED and the capacitor first. So the nice thing on these obnoxiously small LEDs is that there's actually a green arrow over here on this side of the LED to tell you which direction it goes. On the back, of course, it has the arrow as well. But it's nice to be able to see it from the top. Solar panel is easy, of course. Just gonna solder two wires onto it. going to attach the battery now. There we 
We should be able to hopefully see if the camera focuses. Got our LED attached and we've got the battery attached. Next up here we're just going to do the capacitor real quick. Now I think I'm going to leave the legs a little bit long on the capacitor so that I can bend it back around to the back side. this down out of the way so that we're obstructing the LED as little as possible. This is what our little circuit board looks like now. So we've got all of the components on there. The LED is isolated as much as it can be so that there isn't too many shadows. Everything else is on the bottom. So you can see it kind of changing a little bit there. Now unfortunately that's not very bright, but we can fix that. substantially brighter now. It's just a regular small canning jar. Cut a hole in the lid. Of course that's not going to fit through so I'm going to have to desolder the solar panel first. This isn't entirely necessary. I just want to make sure that there's no way for anything to short out on it. some neutral cure silicone sealant to hopefully tack this down.
So here's the finished solar light. I added some heat shrinking and I trimmed the wires down. All of the silicone has set now and it's a little bit nicer than using hot glue because it didn't melt any of the plastic on the battery terminal. Then we have the top of the solar panel here. I just made sure that there was lots of silicone all the way around so that no water hopefully can get in underneath the panel. Let's put the battery in. And then when we cover up the solar panel, the light starts going. It's decently bright. It's not as bright as my previous solar light, but I think that's just due to the poor choice of inductor on this one. And in the jar I just put a piece of aluminum foil along the bottom that's crinkled up a bit to hopefully reflect some of the light a bit. So this is the completed solar light here running. Now it's quite a bit brighter in person than it is on the camera here. The camera's maxed out at the maximum I can put it at for ISO and everything. Unfortunately it doesn't do justice to the actual light. It just goes through and cycles through all of its different colors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments you can email them to me or tweet them to me or leave them in the section below. If you want to see more videos like this one then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.